every day matters. We're thinking about the person on the end of the line who's waiting for that medication. We have products that we're working on for clients right now that if we're faster by a day, that product gets approved faster by a day and saves someone's life. We're constantly working at the forefronts of science. The answers aren't out there. We have to discover them for ourselves. The expertise that our researchers have, plus our scale-up team has, plus our GMP team has, all of that works together to make sure that projects go as successfully as possible. We're not trying to be uh, second best when it comes to chemical development. We're trying to be the premier chemical development site in North America. In the early stages of a project, we are developing the chemistry for the very first time. Once a, a client has identified a molecule of interest, we will start in the non-clinical phase of development, doing benchtop work to make small quantities and, and start to optimize the process. Looking at safety of the process, scalability, economics of the process, looking to optimize the reagents as much as possible. And then scale with our customer into larger kilogram scale quantities for non-clinical safety studies. Running chemistry in the Kilo Lab is often a good first step prior to a GMP campaign to make sure that the chemistry is going to perform well on that larger scale before it goes into a GMP suite. Our equipment size is ranging from 30 liters up to 400 liters. The scale of material that we typically manufacture is between half a kilo up to about about 10 to 15 kilos. As a project progresses in the clinic, we try to think more in terms of long-term, what is the ultimate manufacturing process gonna be for that drug, and then optimize every step of that process so that we can manufacture it in one of the plants in our network. The process development group has a really tried and true approach to statistical process development and control. They will apply design of experiments, statistical techniques, and to optimize our critical process parameters. These are large populations of reactions where we're varying a lot of different input parameters all at once, but in a logical and statistically valid manner. Understanding the variability in the process so that when the manufacturing plant receives that, they know, okay, I gotta watch out for this, this, and this, so that we will not have a problem with the purity of the drug when we finish manufacturing. Everything they're doing is really aligned with the expectations of the FDA. That's gonna get our clients processes and the documentation they need to get their products approved in the marketplace as quickly as possible. One of the things that we can offer our customers at Curia under one roof is chemical development teams working in collaboration with our small-scale manufacturing teams and our analytical chemists. Analytical chemistry is involved at all stages of the development process. Our analytical department has a diverse array of tools They're from chromatography method development to solid state analysis to elemental impurities. We have a full suite of analytical capabilities. The first thing we need to know is what we are working with. NMR is the main tool that is used for identifying we have five NMR spectrometers and we have eight scientists who use this NMR every day. It is critical that the instruments are performing at their optimum. So we have SME in the NMR team who is looking at the quality of the data every day. We have subject matter experts who know the instruments and how to service them and how to maintain them. So that is all done in-house. We work on mass spec-based technologies to support genotoxic impurity control for pharmaceutical products, as well as nitrosamine testing. Nitrosamines are very carcinogenic and need to be controlled at as low as PPB levels. We have analysts who are specialized in method development for trace genotoxic impurities. We also have triple quad mass spectrometers that have MRM capability with MSMS capability as well that can reach the very low thresholds that the FDA is setting for these nitrosamines and genotoxic impurity compounds. We have over 70 HPLC systems. Over 20 of those are UHPLC. With the improved separation and resolution that we observe with UHPLC, we are able to develop methods in the early phase which are more robust, which will stand the test of time and that makes us more ready for later stage as we move toward late phase and commercial. The UHPLC technology allows you to get 
methods in a faster time period. And by adding in as many UH PLCs as we have and still adding more, our goal is to continue to speed up that process. The speed to market is so critical for all of our clients. The GMP spaces that we have, there are 10 of them, allow for the proper capacity to minimize any waiting time that our clients have to get into a GMP space. All 10 of our suites are, are basically production and finishing rooms at the same time. So all of those areas are fed with HEPA filtered single pass air. We can carry out all of our operations, including isolation and open processing of the API itself, all within that one production suite. We have reactor sizes from 500 milliliters all the way up to 200 liters, and all of the suites have the same capabilities. In terms of scheduling, we can have much more flexibility in terms of, of getting our, our clients into our production suites a lot faster. The GMP manufacturing team is made up of chemists and scientists, which is unusual for a manufacturing setting. We recognize that we're working on a lot of first-time scale-up processes, and so it's very helpful to have that extra additional training in the person that's carrying out that manufacturing. What makes it really special is our process development labs, our analytical development labs, they're all in the same building. All the things that you need, you can do in that building, and the people who are doing it for you can walk down the hall and interact with each other on a daily basis to make sure that that project gets done right. My team can get eyes on the process and make suggestions while it's in the development phase. Likewise, you know, while we're manufacturing, we can bring the development chemist right into the lab you know, to have them take a look at things and make sure everything's you know, looking okay. I think that brings a, a much higher probability of, of success for your first scale up, knowing that all the experts are under one roof. We have over 20 years experience in doing exactly this, doing the research to develop the processes and scaling them up. We know that the end user is a person. And we want to make sure that the material that is made at Curia, when it leaves the door, it is the right one and it is of the right purity. It is very important work that we're doing and we take it very seriously. We're emotionally invested in our clients' products and, and want to see them succeed. And we feel like when we bring our development team to our customers, that we're an extension of their team. There's, there's no difference once we get working. We're part of that team, they're part of our team, and we're working together for, for a common goal.